today, uh, we are going to do something new. We're going to create a new character. And we are going to do a playthrough of the Astrologians Guild. Not astrologers. Not, you know, Pisces and, uh, and Taurus and all that fun stuff that your mom and President Reagan loved. No, this is Astrologian's Guild, which is totally different. Has to be, right? Stand up. <laughs> there you go. You would dream. Yeah, don't mix it up with the astrologers. We're not astrologers, okay? All right, astrologers get bullied at school. Um, <laughs> no. Astrologians are way cooler, right? Way cooler. Uh, but what's our name going to be? Well, because I had my mind on astrologers... Uh, and Astrologians is at least somewhat similar. We're, yeah, you know, we'll go with um, uh, Mike, <laughs> which has nothing to do with either of those. That's just the first name that popped in my head. So we'll be Mike the Astrologian, not Astrologer. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. You know, I'm sure they'll let us go. Something that I didn't appreciate uh, when I was a kid. But I did Why? grow up to appreciate, you know, after God. playing competitive sports this and stuff, is, where you get is that Come with Jub me. is freaking jacked. Look at this guy. Look at the that vascularity in the arms. Like, Jub is competition ready for a men's physique show. Like, that's insanity. Jub is Jub is diced to the socks, as, uh, as some folks would say. Which, as a kid, you know, you're so inundated with, like, you know, superheroes being just, like, ripped out of their tree that you don't even, like, notice, you know? But now as, I, as, as I'm an adult, you know, I've got a little more BF on the old caboose here. Kind of notice it a little more. Just like, holy shit, Jub is... Jub is this is where they sauced. Head down to the Man. And I'll show you to the census office. That guy is you chicken and rice arrive, only. But our records don't show from where. All right, so for Mike the Astrologer, the no, 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 excuse me, Mike the Astrologian. What are we thinking? So when I think of an of an Astrologian, it sounds intelligent. It sounds like an intellectual person of some kind. So I'm thinking a Breton maybe, because a high elf is too much. A high elf is too hoity-toity. And they got all these weaknesses, and we don't like weaknesses. We like being strong like a bull. Uh, but like a Nord or an Orc, like a Nord or an Orc, you know, these were the captains of the football team. They didn't care about stars and learning the, the intricacies of the worlds of magic and wonder. They wanted to go split skulls open and then, you know, play Duke Nukem. At, like these guys pre-ordered Duke Nukem forever 10 years before it came out. Like that's that's what I, that's the vibe I get from Nords and Orcs, um, so I think a Breton is the way to go. And then we got you know like our 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 I, a Red Guard could be good, but I don't think they have anything related to intelligence. Uh, the only thought, the the only intrusive thought I had when looking at the Red Guard is like a scholar or something could probably like fence and like long blade, you know, like fencing, like oh, me lord. Oh, we'll, I'll challenge you to a fencing duel once we're done with the lecture at Cambridge. Like, that's kind of what the Red Guard made me think of. But um, I feel like the Breton is much more fit to be a, an astrologian. I mean, look at this guy. This guy's, you know, looking like uh, like Pius II or something. This is a very friarly uh, look. Very intelligent man. You know, why did this hairstyle die out? That's a that's a that's an actual question right there. Um, no, no, no. Again, this must he must look like an emeritus professor teaching his lectures at Cambridge. Uh, that's like the Caius Cosades haircut. That's that's it's got staying power. That's legacy. This is a legacy haircut right here, right? But uh, I don't think that's the one. Let's. Ooh, that kind of... All right, I kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah, now we're talking. This is like... Uh, uh, a, maybe not a young... I was about to say a young Indiana Jones, and Indiana Jones doesn't have hair anything like that. This is like the emo kid from 2002 that, that I was. Um, I like that other one. Let's go back to this one. There it is. This guy... Okay, maybe he's not the professor. This is like the rich director 
of the astrologian department uh, at the at at White Run University. Uh, White Run University, the College of Winterhold. <laughs> How did I get White Run University? Oh my God, I need to get more sleep. <laughs> But let's look over the skill bonuses because uh, this will fit perfectly with the play style I kind of envisioned before I wanted to start this. And we have alteration and conjuration, which are which are going to be perfect. Uh, you know, we're going to be like again like a scholarly professor type, Mr. Emeritus Breton the uh, Third. So I don't want to do a lot of combat. So illusion will help us get out of that. Conjuration will give us some mobs and some support, and then alchemy. You know, mixing potions. Uh, and whatnot. Uh, make an orc. Okay, see, here, here's the thing about the orc. The orc, I, I'm thinking like, so we're going to do the Astrologian Guild, which is like a new mod that came out during the Morrowind May Modathon. But an orc doesn't seem like, a, he doesn't care about what's in the great white world of magic and sorcery. An orc just wants to split some skulls and, you know, rip people apart. So we're going to go with the lame old Breton. Uh, just just for flavor flavor reasons. So I'll grab that. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office the orc, and they'll The orc was release. like the first string quarterback, you know, on the on the football team. I need the guy I need the guy in the back who was taking notes at every lecture. <laughs> ah yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially hey, Matt, it released. Could, it could be a magic there orc. There are a few ways we can do this. And Orcs the aren't, aren't is great yours. at magic, but you could, yeah, you could, you could, you could make it, make it work. The the magic orc. Um, all right, specialization. Let's go with magic. Favorite attributes. I think I'm gonna do intelligence, and then I'm on the fence if I want to do willpower here or if I want to do endurance. It's always a good case. I like the sword in there. See, there it is. There's the magic sword for the orc right there. Uh, um, hmm. I may just do intelligence, willpower, and then we'll just depend on magic to, like, save us. So let's do illusion. Conjuration so we get our mobs. Let's do alteration because you got to always have alteration as a major skill when you're playing a mage type. And then, like I said, when I think of some scholar, emeritus, you know, some Cambridge bookie, I think of someone who fences. So we'll take long blade. And then finally, I think we'll go light armor. And that's like a two for one for flavor. And then two, because getting our Dark Brotherhood armor very early on is going to be super easy. Um, and it's pretty good. Now for miners, what what should we do as a miner skill? I'm thinking alchemy because it's good on everything. I there's there is rarely a character that I make that doesn't have either alchemy or enchant. Like they're just so good in the late game. Um, yeah, let's do alchemy. Enchanting that seems bookish. And then maybe, um, let me, hmm. We already have an armor skill, so I don't want to take a second one. Athlete, well, no, no, we are not athletes. That should not be athletics. Let's do mercantile, because he's quick of tongue. You know, he's a, he's a, he's a Yale man. He knows how to swing a bargain. And then <laughs> maybe speechcraft. And finally here, let me think. What pairs well with all of this? Re restoration, actually, is probably going to be good. Because we're going to be really weak. So we need a healing spell of some sort. And we're going to name this the Yale Man. Uh, because we're good scholarly people. And our class description is a man of books and... Uh, high society, <laughs> which which doesn't describe me at all, <laughs> as I sit here in my thrash metal shirt from the from the eighties. All right, there we go. <laughs> Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign, and what would that be? What would it be? Hmm. Okay. 
another choice we have here. Mm, the tower is just nice to like open stuff. The steed is good for the fortify speed, but I think I'm going to make a beeline uh, straight for the boots of blinding speed just so that, you know, movement becomes easy. Invisibility. So the shadow will make irrelevant because we're just going to grab the ring of aversion at the beginning, so I don't want that. The ritual could be good as a way to restore health easily because we're going to be really weak. But then again, the apprentice with the fortify magic, magicka is so nice. Okay, I'm between, I'm between the ritual and the apprentice. Don't really know. Hmm. Turn undead. How useful will that be? There's like greater bone walkers, bone walkers. Uh, I don't think Wing Twilights are considered undead. I think they're considered Daedra. And then, God, skeletons, like skeletal champions and stuff can be bad. Let's go with the Apprentice. I think we'll do the Apprentice. Just just nice, run-of-the-mill, fortify Magicka. We can get um, some artifacts and stuff that'll help us deal with healing. So, let's do the Apprentice. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Mike, the Breton Yale man, born under the sign of the apprentice, I have a whopping 35 HP to start out. So we are going to be about as weak as a summer breeze. But that's fine, because our brain is what will defend us. Uh, at least that is what I'm hoping here. <laughs> we'll see how it pans out. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Are you the captain? He must be. I thought we all reported to Celis Gravius here. Full release by Uriel Septim VII's decree for the district of Vardenfell in the province of Morrowind, Mike the Breton Yale Man. Um, I never really thought about it until right now, but, like, why would they know your class? You know, just, like, thinking about it. Oh, Gotta grab the alignment right here. Continue through to the next building and talk to Celis Gravius. Thank you. Thank you, sirs. Alright, let's pop in here and start looting. So that we can start um, gathering up some gold for our initial purchases. I'm gonna need some armor. I'm gonna try and go to the Astrologian's Guild right at level 1. Um... So, I, I, and I haven't played it before, so I don't know what to expect. I know where to start the quest. I found that out so I wouldn't just be, like, wandering around randomly uh, on stream. But I don't know the end. So, I would assume we will need some kind of decent armor. I'm not sure if it's, like, a leveled mod or whatnot. Like, some of the mods are, um, are specifically geared towards certain levels. And I didn't see anything in the description, but you never know. All right, we got Fargoth's Your papers, ring. Please. Does anyone know if there's any lore on like why the ring is where it is? Like, Sorry, stranger, like why did Fargoth? Short, like, what was so he doing over there? Did someone steal it from him and prank him by putting it in the barrel? That's did he put it in the barrel? Where's the uh? Where's the lore there? All right, let's see. Are you the one the boat dropped off? Odd to see a boat arrive at that time of day. Hope they treated you okay. Oh, there's the lore right there. I just did... <laughs> I forgot his dialogue. They took my ring. Okay. The Imperials took his ring. And now I'll give it back to him. Let's shake down Fargoth. There it is. I found it. Take it. All right. And I do that just to get disposition um, at the old uh, inn over here. If you give the ring to Fargoth, it'll max your disposition over here at the trader so you can just get a little better get a little better deals new logo hands in the air like he doesn't care the free man is back ladies and gentlemen <laughs> yes uh i'm just matching it up to my youtube channel because i've been doing more 
I've been doing more YouTube stuff recently. It's just a little more, you know, a little more flexible time-wise. With streaming, you know, I want to be here and be present and good for, like, a number of hours, right? Uh, but, yeah, new logo to match them up. Start start getting, uh, start get lining up the branding, right? How have you been, Freeman, though? Thanks for stopping in chat. Good to have you back. We are starting a new character, and then we'll be doing the modded... Astrologians Guild. Look at this. We can get so much freaking gold. I always forget. Giving the ring to Fargoth is like... That is huge. Giving the ring to Fargoth makes you get so much more gold here with, with uh, Aurelay. 85 Dispo. I mean, right off the back. So, 593. So, I can do some purchases here. So I took Longblade. Uh, so Iron Saber is a safe start. I, I, I think I'm actually going to look in Valmora. Because they probably have some better items there. Yeah, I think I'll just do that for now. But I'll grab these Scrolls of Alms CV right off the back. Uh, Unhinging is always good to have. I won't grab Summon Skeleton because we should be grabbing some of that later. I'll get the scrolls of vitality as well. Actually, I'll leave those. I don't need those. All right, so I am gonna get 370 gold from Mr. Arle. And let's take a little adventure to Balmora. What's this about? <laughs> let's hear it. Starfield, I am. I am so beyond excited for Starfield. A new BGS game that isn't Fallout 76. How many years has it been now? Like 12 or something? 11? When did Skyrim come out? Yeah, it's been 11 years. I, I am psyched about Starfield. Although I'm a little nervous. I can't lie. I'm a little Why nervous. Walk when you can ride? Um, Balmora. We make a special trip. I don't know what other folks' thoughts are um, about Starfield. Did I really just get stuck here? <laughs> All right, well, off to a good start. Let me uh, escort myself over here. All right, there we go. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of places in Morrowind where you can just, just have your day ruined by something silly like that. But luckily, the PC grants us the lovely, lovely console so we can at least set ourselves straight. All right, let's see what we got here. So we are in the look. We are on the lookout for if I can help, a decent I long blade, no, speak, and um, a a good set of armor to start. I could get the sword of white woe, but I don't want to like. I don't want to get too overpowered, you know. I don't want to get too overpowered. But for some light armor, is it even worth it to get uh, the chitin armor? It's not very good. I may just grab some of the, ne the netch leather. I kind of like the look of that helm. That looks pretty solid. And that'll be like a little okay something just to tide us over. Because money, money, when we do come into it in this game, will be incredibly fast. Um, what spells do I start with? Let me step inside, because I probably need to get a couple spells to start as well. So we have uh, Bound Dagger, which is Short Blade, sadly. So we should get a different Bound Weapon. Chameleon, which is 10%, not great. Hearth Heal, which is good. Sanctuary, decent. Five point shield, ancestral ghost, and water walking. All right, let's make some purchases. I would like a better bound weapon, and then I would like a, a better summon, and then at least a destruction spell. Oh no, I'm a fool. I'm I messed up. Okay, we're playing on we're playing on hard mode. I forgot to take destruction as a major spell. So we are really a man of the book now. We are a man of the cloth. We are pacifist apparently. <laughs> Let's grab the bound boots and then 
my destruction spell is very low, so I should probably only work with Firebite. Um, but let's see if I can get like a bound sword or something. Restore health. We already do have hearth heal, which is fine. Didn't mean to buy that, but there we go. Additionally, we'd want a levitation spell of some sort. So I'm just searching through some inventories here. Trying to set us up for success. Oh, there's levitate, but it's 400 and 474 gold. My god, man. What kind of what kind of establishment are you running? 474 gold. What do we how much do we have now? 234. Oh god. Okay. Well, uh that sucks. <laughs> okay, uh what's our short blade because we only have a bound dagger too. Okay, I, I think I do need to buy a little backup long blade then because trying to make a bound dagger work is going to suck. I am going to join the mages guild here so I can get in their supply chest. And I'll grab, I'll grab some of these. I ha I got some divine or some elm CV. I'll grab a divine too. Ooh, there are all, there are some books here. I'm gonna sell these books, and then we can convert that maybe into a levitation spell. Hopefully, let's go over to the pawnbroker over here, because I think he'll buy anything. So we should be able to sell him the books. Oh, sounds like she's got the whooping cough. Or kennel cough. Which, which I, I didn't know this, fun fact. But kennel cough, that, you know, your dogs and rabbits and little animal woodland creatures get, can transfer to humans. I didn't know that. Uh, I didn't know that, but my girlfriend's dog got kennel cough a while ago. And, um, yeah, they said, like, don't let the dog, like, you know, lick your mouth and stuff. Because you can catch it so fun fact public service announcement uh don't let your dog lick you in the face when they have kennel cough um okay silver longsword that is a good way to start because we will be able to hit enemies uh that that need you know non-normal weapons to hit them that was a really weird way to say that sentence but you get the idea Actually, first, hold on. Before I make I'm this waking. transaction, just because we're a little low on gold, I'm going to get my fatigue back. So let's grab ye old silver longsword and then sell these. See, we got an extra, extra 18, 20 gold out of it. And then I don't, I don't see anything else here very exciting. And she does not like my offer. Why say deal with it, woman? It's the best offer you'll get in town. All right, how much gold do we have now? 332. But we do have our silver longsword. So the only thing left that I would kind of like before we begin our big adventure here on the Astrologian Shield. Say your words. Not astrologers. Um... I really want levitate because I feel like that's so important of a spell to have. And I don't, I, I mean, I could just buy the levitate potions, but it's only a hundred more gold. And I. L <laughs> what luck, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. I open a crate and then roll on a random loot table the shock eater's robe, value 463. Spell absorption, 20 to 30 points for 10 seconds, and resist shock, 20 to 40. So I could turn that into a levitation spell, or I could just wear it. I think that's actually a great start. I mean, that's actually just good to have. Holy crap, talk about luck. Oh, my God. 
I spoke I spoke something great into existence. And there there's a soul gem in there. I mean, look at that. Claps, indeed. It I worked so hard for it. I mean you saw. <laughs> and then flame arrows, okay. So a lot of the loot in the game, like all these like little random containers, are just uh, they just have loot tables behind them, kind of like in old school Dungeons and Dragons. So, you know, it's all it's honestly worth it, at least in Morrowind versus some, you know something like Skyrim, uh, just to like check in little random containers because they have leveled random loot that you can find yourself uh, into. Let me go to this potion lady and see if she'll buy the flynn, because I don't think I really care about the flynn. Fortify strength. Actually, fortify strength and willpower is nice. Um, okay, let's see, what we're, let's see what we're at now. I think I'm going to hold on to the rogue. That'll be good if we fight any mages. But I can sell her the enchanted arrows. Oh, and since we're penny-pinching, I am going to wait. She doesn't buy soul gems. She will buy the Mazdi. And so that gets a 77. We are 40 away from levitation. I, I really want levitation just because it's so useful. So I will go and find my way into another 30 so gold here before we get started. I can just steal the Sword of White Woe and then, like, sell that for a million dollars. Also, I'll wait till it stops raining just because it's kind of loud. <laughs> I, hope the, I hope the audio levels are okay. I haven't streamed in a while, so I haven't, I haven't used my setup in a minute. Um, but everything should be okay. Grab. Yeah, grab some random ingredients. Um... I'm trying to think if there's any like really good items that I know where they are in Belmora that I can just swing for thirty bucks. Speak, traveler. Speak, traveler. It actually doesn't really matter because we're gonna we're gonna have the money here in a second. Why is a cup worth five dollars? Like. Is this like hand forged, hand forged cup? <laughs> well, I guess it. I guess it would be. Wait, do you think? Hold on a minute. Could like Telvani, like wizards and stuff, just conjure their own furniture and like, you know, accoutrements? I guess they could. Could they? So, I'm trying to think of this. Could could you just conjure goods and just sell them? Instead of like having to make them, that sound that <laughs> that seems like it would just break the world economy in one easy step. Speak, traveler. Todd, these are the questions that I need answers to. Help me, help me out, Todd. <laughs> All right, I think we should have enough now to grab it on sale. Have you ever met a poor wizard? That is a great point, Freeman. Actually. So, no. I have not. So, I'm sure that they're playing by different rules. That is that is true. They got they got those big mushrooms for a reason, you know. That is true. Athletics to level 6. Acrobatics to level 8. Look at us go. All right, let me sell all this random stuff that we just grabbed, and then we'll grab Levitate, and then we'll head over and um, begin our quest. All right, so we'll we'll be able to get the spell and then have a couple, uh, couple septums left over, which will be nice as well. So at least I can start working my way towards that uh, conjured, conjured long blade. Because we will want to start raising our long blade. Quickly, Outlander, or go away. Oh no! Is this sword almost broken? 
Oh my god, it is. Okay. Well, I'm glad I noticed. I need to get this repaired before we start. <laughs> Fun fact, there there's a guy there's a guy in tribunal. Um and he sells only broken items, which I think is just kind of funny. Looking for something in particular? You're like, oh, what a what a fantastic deal on this dwarven armor. Zero. <laughs> the Bingley running a Bosmer archer. Nice. There you go. Uh, are you doing like a little hybrid kind of gig? Doing some spells and a little archery, or or just just pure on, pure on Bosmer. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh yeah, levitate. That's what I drug us out this long for. And then you know I got the cash, so let's grab water breathing too. Um, but let's move on out, and begin the Astrologians Guild, the newest, hottest freshest guild in all of Tamriel. What if Might I have you know. We are slow as molasses. Actually, should I do... Hold on. Should I do Boots of Blinding Speed first and then do the, uh... Then do the Astrologians Guild? That, that may make... That may make the viewer experience a little better if I was just a little, a uh, little, little faster. I did not know that you have taught me something new. Slang for someone from Liverpool. Those dang Brits over there. They, those Liverpoolians. They, they are just the bottom of the barrel, aren't they? <laughs> Mysticism for Mark Recall intervention. Good move. Good move. You got. You got to do it. Um, Why walk when you can ride? Mark Recall and intervention are are so crucial to like everything. So I, I think I'm gonna go ahead. I'll go ahead and just start the Astrologians Guild, and then when I make it back to town next, then I'll go and grab the Boots of Blinding Speed. Cause that's like a. It's like a 20 minute detour. I don't know if I want to do it right now. Um, but we must head up this way because the the start for this particular guild is like out here at that Daedric Ruin uh, where you actually have to get the Dwemer puzzle box. And the, the starting area is right on top of it. So that's where we're heading. We're going up there, and then we're going to go see... Uh, we're going to have our first test against Snowy Granius on the bridge. I did forget to repair my sword, so hopefully... Um, hopefully we can find someone to do it right here. I think there should be an armor at the fort. If there's not, we'll just like kind of scrape by. What's this about? And then, of course, we can continue checking for... Oh, hold on. They may they may hate me if I do that. Let me quick save. I can't remember if they let you steal or not. You've made your last ah, mistake, okay. thief. All right. All right. Don't touch the military supplies. Got it. All right. <laughs> File that one away. <laughs> you, can, you can do it in a lot of other places. Um, oh, God. Now I need more money? I need 148? Oh, gosh. I only have 41. I guess I'm not repairing Anytime it. Anytime you're ready. Just don't keep me waiting. Can I buy just something to, like, tide me over? I have 41 gold. I can get an iron longsword. I, I will do that just as a backup in case my first one breaks. Because I don't want to get stuck without a weapon. Yeah. So we got an iron longsword, at least. Uh, as, as, a, as a reserve weapon. That's our second string. Because <laughs> we didn't have enough money to repair our silver longsword. Such is the struggles of level one, man. Level one is brutal. <laughs> Wheeling and dealing, trying to find your way in this big, scary world of Tamriel. Alright, let's get started here. 
Oh, first I need to... Uh... Oh, I failed. Hold on, what's my spell cast? 64, come on. There we go. Always need to remember to conjure my, my support here. Come on, ghost, help me out. You've hit, you've hit him once. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Perfect. I like I like it when the mobs uh, the mobs do the work. <laughs> Grab a little weight just to get some fatigue back. Mercantile, I do believe I have it. Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, it it is it is important, but. I mean, still at level one, like every everything is everything is so low on level one, you know. Like it it it, it definitely uh, definitely becomes very 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 helpful to have. I I too almost take it on pretty much every character. I almost never do a character that doesn't have mercantile as well. I would agree with you. Classic zero stamina gameplay, exactly. Only the finest pure organic free range Morrowind gameplay on this on this channel to free man you know how it is <laughs> and I got interrupted by a scrib who doesn't uh, he hey he's not attacking me so I'm actually not gonna fight him I have you oh my god okay I'm not <laughs> well uh, there our money problem just went away Hold on, I'm gonna summon my boots, and then I'm gonna summon my ghost, and then now we can fight. I hate how like how this happens like right at the beginning, and it's just a whittle down fest. Like this guy has so much, so much health for a for a starting character. Okay, remind me to get a fortify agility skill. Our, our, our hitting is a little weak right now. Alright, there we go. And now we don't have to worry about money. So we are we are set to go, thankfully. Ooh, okay, now the real challenge begins. The the Dark Brotherhood, that was just the warm-up. Now we now's the real game. This is the real game. Hold on. Uh, let me actually activate my robe. Because we do get some spell absorption from that. And then I'll do Sanctuary 2. You make this too easy. Alright, let's see if we can uh see if we can fight him here. Snowy Granius. The or the original gangster of Marwind. <laughs> We are just absorbing his spells. Look at this. Oh no, he's just he's attacking our weapon. Oh, he's not attacking our health. There we go. Good. Good job, Mr. Ghost. That was excellent. Well played. Uh and does he have anything? He has some fur boots. Okay, we can put that on. It's light armor. And the rest of this, uh, I guess I can sell the axe. We got some, we got some weight to play around with. Just grab another heal there. All right. Okay, off to a good, off to a good start. Did he like, just destroy our weapon? He took it down 150 points of condition, but not too bad. Could always be worse. I'm glad I didn't use my silver long blade there, though, because then it just would have been broken completely and down to zero, which is not good. <laughs> but here we are at... What do they call this again? Ngungathan, the... Insert random guttural <laughs> consonants here. <laughs> I feel like every Dwemer ruined Kirkbride just kind of like smashed his head against the keyboard and they're like, yep, that's the one. 
<laughs> All right, here we go. To anyone who doesn't have the mod, this right here in front of us probably looks a little strange. And it is because this was added. This is unique to the Astrologians Guild, so let's head into Arkin Gathand, Victory Bell Hall. Outlander. Oh, he's really excited to see us. Look at that. He's shaking in his boots. Actually, let's see what he has to say. Oh, your journal has been updated. Hey, wait. We aren't part of the bandits. We are the Astrologians Guild. If you're wanting to join the guild, talk to Nelengoth. But just remember, we were here first, so no messing with anything. Okay, all right. Uh, I'll try to keep that in mind, but you know how it is. You know how it is in Morrowind. You see something. It's got a high value. Real easy to steal in this Any game. Any time now. Oh, yo, look at this guy. Okay. This is like uh, Gandalf the Blue with steampunk. <laughs> Gandalf if he actually went to the Ren Fair. Because for some reason nowadays, Ren Fairs are synonymous with just cosplay festivals. Um, all right. Greetings, Traveler. This small part of Arkham Gathon belongs to the Astrologian Guild. Were you wanting to join? Absolutely. You're someone we can use here. Uh, do you want to know more? I don't. I, no. You know what? I would love to know more, but sign sign me up. Just just go ahead. Let's let's stroke the dotted line. You are now a member of the Astrologian Guild. Welcome, initiate. We have plenty to do around here. If you want duties, uh, just ask. Okay. I have business in Balmora. I'd like you to take care of. I need a package from Hasfant and Tabalus in the Fighters Guild. I think he, I think he's the Guild Master, right? Uh, he's already been... Oh, no, not the Guildmaster. He's the, he's the main guy at Belmora. Um, he's already been paid, so just pick it up. And while you're there, head to Dorcia Darvell's bookstore and ask for old Dwimmer books. Okay. All right, start with a little a little fetch quest. These Dunmer are useless. I believe if I divine intervention here, we can go... Or um, I think I can just um, see be back to Belmora. Yeah, okay, cool. So let's, uh, we have a book, <clears throat> excuse me, we got to get the book and then we got to get the package from Hasfat. Probably nothing. And then once I go back, I, I think I should talk to some of the, some of the folks around there, get a little feel for the guild, right? See what, see what they're really about. Um, are Speak you the one? Traveler. Yes, she is. All right. Grab a little weight. So your name is Mike, indeed. And you're nor in Balmora. My name is Dorissa Darvell, not Dorcia. Um, can't read, apparently. <laughs> and I don't mind answering questions. Uh, if I start to bore you, just let me know. Okay, let's look for the old Dwimmer book. Uh, we do have that one. It is badly damaged. It's not Dwimmer exactly, but some kind of journal on Dwimmer studies. Ooh, so it's perfectly legal. I can give it to you for 20 gold. Is it illegal to have Dwimmer stuff? I can't remember. Um, she's telling me I don't have enough gold, though. So we're running up against that again. I don't want to sell her any of my scrolls. I don't think she'll buy anything here. Yeah. Okay. Well, I am at zero gold. So at least we know we can grab it right quick. Let me sell the stuff that I grabbed from Granius. I really don't have time for this, so make it quick. There's that. Uh, I'll sell the silver dagger. And then I can sell all this Dark Brotherhood stuff here to start. Because I think I'd like to go the Conjure Armored route. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me, I keep having a... I get a tickle in my throat. Oh, man. <laughs> I love it when the characters of Morrowind and do this. Like, you just sell them something, and they're like, damn, that is, that's sweet, bro. And then they just they just put it on. <laughs> I always think that's kind of funny. It's immediate. Like, they don't even think about it. Ah. What do you want? Good to know, Freeman. That's, that's fair. I guess if the tombs are as dangerous and you know, filled with expensive stuff as they are. You don't want people going and uh, 
you know, raid in the, raid in the tombs and you know, dying and getting killed by uh, bone mockers. There's a setting to stop them from equipping the armor. Really, I didn't know that, Bingley. I kind of like it. I think it's oh, part of it's immersion breaking, and then the other part of it is like, man, look at me. I gave them something they liked. Like how 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 sick is that? <laughs> All right, we got our Ruined Dwimmer book now. Came into a little more money than 20 gold. I am on Open Morrowind uh, right now, by the way. I, I am like 100% Open Morrowind, pretty much. I, I I just, it's so much snappier and like way less likely to crash, even though it did crash on me right when I started stream today, but that was a diamond in the rough. The only drawback to Open Morrowind, in my mind at least, is the... Um, you can't use um, script extenders or like MGXE, so some mods you can only run on on base Morrowind. But most, if they don't have a script extension, you can run on open Morrowind. And I think there's a way to like finagle it to make it work, but you have to do some some actual like code changes. Yes. All right. So let's see about this package from Hasfat here. You're here for the package on behalf of the Astrologians Guild. Here you are, happy to do business with you. Thank you. That was that was nice and simple. Under bug fixes. I will have to I'll check that out. Can um, you ask your do I need quickly. anything from I must here? Be going. Ah yes. Now that I have money, let me repair my Let me repair my silver sword. I need to repair everything else as well. And then I also need to buy Mark and Recall. If you want something, now's the time to talk. Oh, and then um, I think I can sell him. Should I sell my longsword? Nash, it, it's good to hold a backup weapon. I'll hold the backup for now. And then let me grab, like I said, uh, Mark and Recall. I think I can get Omsibi actually from the temple. So, you know, we, here here is a level one mage-focused character. You get the uh, the, <laughs> the spell-buying experience uh, that uh, every character goes through at the beginning. Acrobatics to 11, though. That's nice. At least now that we finally have some... Came, came into some money from the Dark Brotherhood, we'll be able to afford some, afford some spells. I think it's this guy over here that sells it. Yep, I'm CV right there. And then Cure Common Disease would be good to have. There's Recall. And... All right, so I need Mark and Whatever Divine. But I think for, for Divine, I gotta I go to... I think I need to go to an Imperial Shrine. There's Mark. Okay, so Mark and Recall are done. And there's Fortify Intelligence, and I think Fortify Attribute works on any spell for spell making. So I think if I buy one of these, I'm not going to do it yet. No, I don't think so. But our agility is 30, so we are going to want to have a Fortify Attribute spell of some sort to just help us in combat, help us fight people, land our hits. 30 agility is pretty low. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're... We're not very proficient. <laughs> Just gonna wait a second. I'm gonna search through the boxes here. I don't, you know, I don't think there's gonna be any stuff, but you never know. You never know when a magic item may pop up at the temple. You'll just end up having a really good day. I think those two down there are the only ones that sell spells, but I'm just gonna be certain. Uh, we do have scrolls here, which always are nice. Scroll of invisibility, scroll of insight, gem feeder, soul trap. No, I need to just buy that on my own. 
I have one divine intervention and I have one um, CV, so I think I'm okay. Make I always like to keep weapon. backup spells just in case I run out of magicka out in the wilds of Morrowind. Um, but having one of each for now should be fine. I don't think we're going to run into anything too serious just yet. I think we should be okay. All right, so let's think. We have our packages for the next quest. I have Mark Recall and Almsivi, so I'm good to go there. Should, uh, hmm, let me think. Do I go grab Blinding Speed just to make our lives easier? I think I will do that, actually, and then we'll continue. So I believe I got to go to Caldera. I'm listening. Let me, go let ahead. me do that. Just because, what is our speed right now? Yeah, our speed is 30, and we have no carry weight, so we're always going to be very slow. Slow boy. And then, let's go ahead and buy these extra bound spells. Just to make life easier. I'm going to wait on the longbow, because we don't have a good enough agility to make it really worth it. Is there anything else I need here? Ooh, hold on. Summon Skeletal Minion could be good. Lesser Bone Walker is nice, too, to damage Endurance. I'll grab that. 47 gold. And then... One of the best things to do... Oh, here is our... Bound Longsword, okay. Well, now I know when I come back, Bound Longsword is from uh, her. But one of the best things to you do if you're playing Conjuration, um, just in case folks don't know, is to collect a bunch of different spell effects and summons this. and then uh, apply them all into one spell. So you can just get, you know, cast one spell and get like five people at once. Uh, just It's just way faster. Um, way faster way to do it. So I'm trying to remember which way. She, I think Pimini's this way. Because, Nar, yeah, Narmok would be over here. All right, so the quest for the Boots of Blinding Speed begins. Done this one once or twice, eh? <laughs> Trying to think if there's any uh, any other like effects that I want to get out of the way, get under the belts here before we keep moving too deep. I think we're set up pretty well. I think we I think we got a pretty good uh pretty good launch pad here. The main things are always, of course, just teleportation and then a way to deal damage, which since we're doing conjuring, uh, we'll just be grabbing as many. Um, as many uh, whatchamacallums as possible. Minions. Oh, that sounds good. Wow. I didn't... Uh, yeah, I don't know the name of that one either. That, that's, a nice, that's a nice deal, though. Hey, in a pinch, just boom. <laughs> pop, pop right into a nice, a nice full-on uh, set of armor. Let's, let's wait on that guy, because I think he takes us away from the, the road that Pimini's on. I think Pimini's up here. And I think the witch is off to the right. Although that is a awesome quest. Good old Cloud Cleaver. Wait, what is this guy? Wait, who are you? What are you doing? Say your business. Go grow, go grow. I don't know you. Hey, you. You're not one of them town bosses, right? How about you help me? I'll give you a present. Well, okay. Who who are you? All right. I'm intrigued. Hold on. You want to help? Sure, you do, good friend. Look, those guys in Caldera really think I did something bad, so they're looking for me. I'm too smart for them, though. I can hide real good. My friend can help me. Maybe you can bring her a note, and I'll give you a present. Uh, sure. Okay. They can be mean. Good thing I'm smarter than them. Take it to Bashuk Grabat in Caldera. She's a good friend of Bugroll. She helps me out. Okay. All right, well, let's remember that next time we go to Caldera. 
We have a field of rats up here. Sixty-four percent chance. Oh my gosh! There we go. Okay. Well, I I didn't even know that guy was behind the rock. I've I missed him for forever apparently. Just start start gathering some uh, experience here. I saw a field full of rats, and I just saw I saw XP signs, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's like playing D&D, you know. See all see all the little minions, all those all those kobolds add up, man. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's keep moving. And then there Pimini is, I believe, off to the left. So, let's go and get them get them their boots as they say in the dirty dirty south. I think I'll be nice. This is going to be a nice and friendly uh, character. It's going to be a nice, friendly, easygoing character. So we'll actually lead her. We're not going to kill her. Even though I know in like the, the, <laughs> the YouTube video I made about her, I'm pretty sure I killed her. Or no, I didn't kill her in my first one where I got the boots. I killed her in the second ones, though. But I, I'm usually good. I'm a good-hearted player, typically. Unless I'm like, I'm going to be a devil in this playthrough. And then I just murder everyone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, hey, that, but that's what keeps bringing us back, Bingley. I'm telling you, man. That's what keeps bringing us back is that wealth of content. Because, yeah, like you said, it, here we are 20 years later, and I forgot that that orc was there and re probably rediscovered him. I don't know if I've saw, seen him in the past, but it sure seems like I haven't. <laughs> All right, come along, Pimini. To Narmak we go. Can't remember which road it is, so I'm just gonna split the difference. It is not that one. That is a that is a farm with uh, Guar. How crazy would it be if like Guars were you know real? Like, look at how big those things are. We're used like our, our biggest livestock is is what, cattle or ox or something, and you know they could get pretty big. But like, God, imagine like freaking having to be a netch farmer or whatever with these like towering things. Oh God, agriculture would look so much different. That'd be scary as hell. I I. There would be way less farmers. At the burial sites. Oh yeah, there's there's almost like too many to count. I feel like I, I, there's new loot or new artifacts and everyone, and outside of like the couple that I hit on every playthrough, you know, to get like Din Stagmer's ring or to get like Eladin's ward or like you know some of these really stalwart items. Like all the other ones, like just fly under the radar, and when you just stumble upon them, it's phenomenal. Because it's just like, holy crap, I have this massive new dungeon to do. Which is fantastic. I remember the, the one that I didn't even know, um, which is like one of the coolest dungeons. I didn't know about the one that has the uh, the Viking burial-like thing on it, in it for, for years. It probably, I mean, it, it was probably like a decade before I fig figured out that one was even there. Because, I mean, when I when I originally got Morrowind and was, like, younger and playing it, you know, I didn't really know what I was doing, so I didn't get, <laughs> get, get all those good insights. And the internet wasn't, you know, what it was now, so... There's no way to really, like, learn about them except for literally just delving into every dungeon. I can't remember if it's that road or this one. I'm gonna go with this one. I still, uh, that blew my mind though. That blew my mind, like the, the Viking one when I found that. I was like, wow. How have I not heard of this? Whoa! 
Run or die. There we go. Quam out of the way. I think I chose wisely. I'm I'm pretty sure this is the one for Narmok. Should be coming up into view here on the right, I believe. Oh, speaking of Guar, there's a dead one right over there. What happened over here? Hold on. Is there evil afoot? Let's, let's, I gotta investigate. What is this? Did the mud crabs kill him? Well, the mud crabs are coming to kill me, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, have at thee. Unarmored 211. Beaten. Boom, there you go. Okay, alright. Good job, Pemini. Good work, good work. Good hustle. Yep, I, I was... For for years, I, I was a slave to the Telvani. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Raideran. I'm trying to remember the other awesome dungeon that took me a while to find. Um, is the Viking one the one with the maze at the bottom? There's one that has like a literal labyrinth underneath it. I thought maybe the same one that I'm thinking of. I'm trying to remember its name. All the names are so obscure it's like hard to commit them to memory. Oh, the dead Guar. I, I was going to take your word for it. I was like, oh, yeah, sure. You go to a Raideran, Raideran quest to do that tomb. <laughs> hey, we made it. We got our boots. If you want something, fair, fair. now's the time to talk. I have not completed the Raideran quest line in, God, probably five years. <laughs> so... <laughs> The, mo the one I've done most recently was Telvani. Like, I, 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 I do the Telvani one a lot just because their loot, like, the artifacts you get from the Telvani quest lines are so good. And then and then just just getting the amulets of um, Divine and Omsibi are oh, phenomenal. You just don't have to worry about your spells or anything anymore. All right, there we go. Boots of Blinding Speed, quest complete. Ooh, that sounds good. There you go. A Nord Berserker. That's about the way to do it. That that sounds pretty Raideran to, to my ears. Part of me wants to try and do, like, uh, a what build on so what do you an want? unarmored... Like an unarmored Nord Berserker. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. Like a... Um, f flavor... A Viking flavorful, you know, true-to-life thing. That'd be pretty wild. Only two-handed axes. No armor. Just pants and shoes. <laughs> like, that'd be pretty... Or, or actually, just no clothes. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that in, in real life, they were completely unarmored. Um, I, can I actually hold on? Can I sail back? I'm trying to think, what's the best way to get the? I need to get him a resist magicka spell, so I can put my boots on. I may just chance on CB and divine, and see where it takes me, and then we'll go from there. Axe and shield, good move. Yep, buff. Get that that block flowing. So I don't know if the guy, I don't know if the the Magus Guild sells a resist magicka spell here, but I know they do in Sedanine. So I may just go to Sedanine, and then we'll have our boots, and then we'll be set. And then I'll return this because we just have to run, you know, literally run back to uh, the other, the astrologians themselves. Hiding in the Victory Bell Hall. Oh, 
Oh, don't tell, don't tell me that, Bingley. No. <laughs> I want it to be real so Where bad. Would you like to go? <laughs> They, they, that sounds that sounds so wild. You, the, the the image of the hulking Scandinavians high on mushrooms, like just running out and you know just annihilating people on the battlefield. That is a very visceral image in your head. I can feel it. You know. I I hope at least some of it's true. I'm not a I'm not a history buff. I watch my fair share of Jeopardy, like, uh, you know, any lame ass, but <laughs> not, I am not a historian, that is for sure. Um, oh, hold on, oh, hold on. Spells. Uh, resist Magicka, I need 41. Okay, what can I sell him for 20 gold? Probably nothing. Oh, I know what I can do. I can go get the, I can go get the axe over here. Let me go get the axe, and then I'll I'll toss that over. See, I feel like both are scary, but, like, the naked guy, you know, is unhinged. Like, that guy, that guy came, he's ready to die. Because, <laughs> so, that, you know, it, it's the, the psychology. I didn't mean to hit the mic there. But it's the, the psychology of it. Um... I feel like I feel like I'd honestly be kind of more scared of the naked guy. Like like if he if, if he had the crazy in his eyes. I don't know, man. That's that's my only thing. There we go. Grab our shard axe. Yeah, value 100. Okay, there we go. We can get our spell. I'm going to kill this mud crab just to keep the keep the experience flowing. All right. Back to our relay. I know how to pronounce it now. <laughs> And let's grab our Resist Magicka. Go ahead, stranger. My time is precious. Oh, that's so actually it. really cool. That you own one. That's uh, that's pretty badass. I I I greatly respect the folk of old who built those things because I can't imagine the just monotony of doing the you know each chain one by one like geez it, it probably took months to finish What's a single about? a single set like no wonder only kings had it Ooh, reenactment cool kima is that oh i'm trying to remember what that is i've heard that before Historically, something medieval, something, something, something like that. We make a special trip. We used to have same low, um, where I where I went to, um, where I w went to college. There was, there was a group. I think it was Hema. Yeah, historical European martial arts. Yeah, we had a group. I never did it, but we had a group on campus who would go. And there was like a big field at you know at one of the places, and um, and they would go and and they would do fighting like that. Like they would be in the chain mail and stuff with the blunt swords and like what is they'd be about? fighting in the middle of the the middle of like the this huge field, and people would come and watch. Like it was it was pretty cool. So that's awesome, Bingley. You're you're cooler than. Uh, than the majority oh, of us. interesting. <laughs> At least a in my tourist. book. Um, let me see. Okay, this is going to be boots. Spell. Resist Magicka. Self. 100 points. One second. I again don't have enough gold? Oh my god. Why do we keep running into this? Alright, I need to get some more money again. Woo! 
Life is rough. Life is rough for us starting out mages. Okay, how do I get... <laughs> what do we need? Uh, 80 gold quick? I'm trying to think. I've heard. I think I should. I, I, I may just go to the watchtower and just like steal stuff. Ah, yes, like the the tr the the treatise on how to say your business. Um, isn't that what they call like the the combat literature? Like I don't know what to call them, but it's a treatise. It's like a treatise on the you know claymore of whatever, right? I don't know. Speak, traveler. The holidays. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. What's that one about? That one sounds uh, thrilling. <laughs> I'm wondering if I can just steal this and sell it. Uh, let me quick save. Oh, I should have just come here and gotten the longsword off the wall. I forget about this. I don't think the guard can see us right here. Manual and philosophical texts. Ah, you must be of strong that, body and mind. It's a good approach. I think that's kind of cool. I mean, as long as it's interesting, right? So there is ye old sort of white woe up there, but I don't think I'm gonna. I'm gonna try not to grab it. Try not to be too OP here. I don't think this guy can see us. So, we can just grab all this loot. Uh, I am overburdened. Let me put the Warhammer back. Alright. I think that should be good. Acrobatics to 15. I do think the old world, like, approach and, uh... Like the the I don't want to say mysticism the like the swordsmanship and all that stuff it had this kind of like oh god I don't know how to say it what is the word I'm looking for it's not like high class but you know it was it was like heroes and stuff you know like you had to be this awesome person of body and mind right some like you said like philosophy mixed with combat like you know. Just, it's, it's, the night aesthetic seems really cool from back in the day. I can see why oh, knights became Alexander, subjects of fairy tales. Something? I'll say that much. All right, buy all of our absolutely random stuff. And then, because we are just continually penny-pinching here, I am gonna, I am gonna rest. Um... Sell all that. I'm not even going to keep the chitin just because it's, like, not great at all. All right, there we go. Now we have our spell and our boots. So we're a double threat. We're good to go. Mike the Astrologer. I suppose I could spare a moment or two. Let me spell make. Boots. Resist magicka. 101. All right, there we go. Finally. Mm. Let me. I think I can rest over there when I'm done putting this on. Let me grab boots. Failed. There we go. Let's make sure it's on. Yep, we're good. I think I actually only needed a spell for 50 now that I think of it, because I'm a Breton. So it would have been cheaper, but I guess just Any having an extra. Yourself. Just having a good spell is never a bad thing. But now we are ridiculously fast, so let's continue. Let's continue with the Astrologians Guild and return our package. Fresh gear. Athletics to nine. 
I should probably just start like randomly casting all my like bound spells while we're just kind of moving around. Just to get some uh Oh, I, t I cast Bound Boots, and it took off my boots. I forgot that. So let me cast the other spells, <laughs> and then... And then we'll be good. Yeah, pro tip, if you're wearing boots of blinding speed, don't, uh, don't cast your Bound Boots, because it'll just take them off. Man, I'm hoping we can get somewhere to, like, rest just so I can, uh, have some magicka in case something bad happens. Just a little scrib there. Nothing to, nothing to worry about. Although scribs, while not very dangerous, I think are some of the most infuriating things in the game. <laughs> They'll paralyze lock you, you know, level one, hold you in place for five years. All right, go, go up here, cross the bridge. And now we are set up for success, I would say. We have a non-normal weapon, so we can hit ghosts and stuff with it. There's a dead guy, what? Oh, that was the Dark Brotherhood assassin. I was like, where did this guy come from? Holy crap. We got the dead guys on the bridge just as a warning. Uh, anybody that means the, Aust the astrologians guild mean business that's what i'm saying oh come on now one more hit you can do it you can do it mike come on mike <laughs> i believe there we go Just had to let him think about it. <laughs> Great mud crab genocide. Exactly. Exactly. You I'm, I'm with attention. you. That's a, that's not a mud crab. That's an experienced crab, Bingley. That's what it is. All right. How are your duties coming along? Well, sir, they are complete. I know it took like seven years longer because I went to Caldera and then Satanine and then back. But that's fine. All right, great. You've gotten both the package and the book I asked for. You've done well enough to earn your advancement. That was pretty easy. I mean, <laughs> hey, can you run to the grocery store, uh, grab me some eggs, um, you know, pick up some toilet paper, and then, you know, when you're back, I'll give you a promotion. <laughs> that's, that's basically what just happened. <laughs> Congratulations. You are officially a miner of the Australogians Guild. Very nice. Let's get some more duties. Now that you're a miner, you need to grab a miner's pick. There should be some right outside. Go get one and come back, and I'll give you your duties. Okay. Let's grab that. Um, miner's pick. Do I need... Uh, oh, there we go. I was about to say, like, do I need, like, detect miner's pick or something to find that thing? Great, I see you've got a miner's pick. You're ready for your next set of duties. The two other miners went ahead of you, but I'll need you three to get to the bottom of Arkengathon and start excavating within the deep ore passage. According to my notes, there should be another passage within that area. We used to do some trading with smugglers. Whoa, okay, all right, all right. I see how the Astrologians play it. They don't play by the books, I like that. Okay, keeping it a little interesting. Uh, they don't want us in their territory. You may just want to avoid being seen. Either way, get to the bottom of it. Okay. There should be another passage within that area. Start excavating within the deep or passage at the bottom of Arkengathon. So I assume... Let's head to the door to the ruins. And then start making our way down. This was another thing. I don't know if anybody else was the same way. This right here fooled me forever when I first played this game. Because I was like, "Where? how do I get in? There's no way to get in. And then 
I, I missed this. I remember being so frustrated as, as a, a youngling and just being like, this is the dumbest game ever because I couldn't find that. It's like when I got stuck in the census office. Um, I always tell this story, but the first time I ever played Morrowind, I got stuck in the census office because I didn't know I had to pick up my papers. And I was like, this is the worst game ever made. Like, I'm glitched and I can't even get out of the beginning area. <laughs> Ooh, okay. All right, all right, all right. I see you, man, I see you. I'll be back. You'll be dead. Oh, he fell. Oh, he took a tumble. Let me get our ghost out. Oh, come on now. There we go. There it is. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it's done. All right. Uh, steel dagger, we can sell that pretty decently. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, that's how it is, Bingley. You know, these things, this game tells you nothing, which is the beauty and, uh, you know, the beauty of it and, and the sometimes uh, incredibly frustration, uh, frustrating part of it. All right, there's still enemies nearby, but we have no magicka. Our guys will disappear soon. Let me go over here and see if I can rest. I'm wondering if the enemies are on the other side. Weeping bell, weeping bell. Mm. Do I have restore magicka potions? I have uh, five. I guess I have to pop one. Should probably stop running. That is trapped. Let's not mess with that right now. Steel and iron door. Nothing in here. So we're looking for... Uh, that's trapped too. Let me... Shock eater robe. Glad I saved. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not even our shock eater robe could uh, heal us through that. Or not heal us through it, but resist absorption. Okay, it worked out. Sweet. I don't want to sit here and save scum it, but this is too it's easy. not too bad. Oh, we staggered him, like, right off the bat. Holy crap. Let me ghost again. It'll be your blood, not mine. How does it feel to know death is near? Death is not near. Or or maybe I, I should be asking you that question. How do you feel knowing that Ooh. death is near? Well, he didn't even have time to answer, so <laughs> I guess he didn't have time to think about it. Ooh, still can't rest. All right, we're at half health. Half health, half magicka. That's not it. Oh, we got Trifle another person here. Long enough. Circle strafe. Circle strafe. You won't escape me that easily. It's like it's like playing Doom. Just keep going in circles. <laughs> pointed pointed in the center of the room. Uh, Iron Tonto. That doesn't really excite me. I can leave that. De yo, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. Death is kind of near. You're right. Literal ghost right there. Like actual, actual facts. Oh God, I really need a rest. This is, this is getting dangerous. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can heal through it. I can't, <laughs> oh man. Uh, let me see if I can, there's enemies everywhere. I guess I have to burn another health potion. Or another magical potion to get my health back. Let me... Which one do I have higher cast on? Hearth Heal or Soothing Bomb? Soothing Bomb. Better cast chance. 
All right, there's that. That actually takes us pretty good, and it only uses two magicka. So that's good. Then I'm going to get the ghost back on. I guess we can just keep forging our way downstairs this way. Feel like we're spelunking uh, to Heaven's Gallery. Okay, that's one way. Let me just make sure there's nothing over here. So we're looking for the miners at the bottom of Arkhangathon. So we just want to keep going down. Whatever that is. You, you should have picked an easier opponent. Really trying to hold out and not waste my potions because I only have a couple. I don't know how long this quest is going to be. Come on. Come on. Mm. This guy kind of looks like Jeff Foxworthy. Am I crazy? <laughs> he kind of looks like Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Am I crazy? Do people even know who that is? I mean, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Like, that was a show that people watched, right? Um, ooh, Dwimmer Pitcher. That sells great. Okay, finally we can grab a rest. Very nice. Um, let me see. What's over here? Cells of the Hollow Hand. So that definitely goes deeper. I don't know about going to the bottom, but it does go deeper. And this is going up, so I think this is the wrong way to go, but let's let's see where it takes us. Uh, this is actually just a different different door. Okay. Must be a Yank thing. It it is, yes. Uh he was an American comedian. That's who he was. He was in, he, he did this, like, he had the, I mean, his, he did his comedy, of course, but then he had this, like, really popular show in, like, the early 2000s called Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? And it was pretty funny, because it was, like, adults, and they'd, you know, ha be, like, it was like a quiz show, but they would go against fifth graders, and it was hysterical, because the adults almost always lost. <laughs> But, you know, how much of it is staged, how much of it is scripted, I don't know. But it was pretty funny. It was, right. it was a decent show. Uh, let me go back. Heal it up. Run while you can. I forget how important speed is quite often in this game. Like, it's it's so important to be able to kite around, get your heels off. That's a Dormer Cog. I think those are 50. Yeah. Can't grab that. I will grab the repair hammer. Dormer coins also sell very nicely. So do the goblets. Some liquor. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Free, free man's got the, the better deets. Yes, it was all American fifth grade curriculum from like, uh, you know, public school stuff. It certainly made me feel dumb sometimes, but that was kind of the fun of it. <laughs> I was like, oh God, like, I don't know what 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 did happen to that thing, you know, <laughs> that one obscure math property that I know I learned but can't remember. I think about that all the time, like all the calculus and pre-calculus and stuff I took, and I'm like, man, never used that again. <laughs> that didn't that didn't pan out, eh? And then, and then, you know, I have my friends who are engineers and use it all the time, and uh, power to them. Let's see, Hall of Centrifuge, that's that other one. So we're just gonna keep trying to make our way south into the underbelly of Arkhangathon. Oh, 
Hello. Uh, don't know where he's coming up from. Where is he trying to you come from? Me that easily. Oh, he's expecting us to jump down to sink to his level. One second. I gotta check all this loot because your boy needs money for spells still. Let me hop down. I will enjoy this. I need to make that spell where I can combine the ghost and the, uh, the ghost and the walker. So I can just get them both at once. There we go. Dagger. Nothing else too crazy in here, I don't think. Got a little candle. Wanna hold a candle? Now, now we're spelunking. <laughs> now the real game starts. Okay, so those go south, uh, or down. I keep saying south. I guess it is south. Those go down. Let's check these, and then we can go back to the weeping bell. Oh, come on, ghost. Oh, there's two men. I wonder if those are our guys. They look kind of out of place. And modded in. And they're not attacking us. Yeah, okay. I think we did it. We have done it. And he has nothing exciting. All right, before we talk to him, let's uh, loot it up. Oh, over encumbered. Wait, what did I grab? Oh, I accidentally grabbed the cogs. Yeah, that'll do it. And then I'll check these, and then I'll talk to them. Who, who buys the coins? Is it pawn? I guess you can always just sell them to pawnbrokers. Oh, we do have a chest here. Okay. Uh, do I have an unlock spell? I don't think I bought one yet. I know I have to scroll, but it's just level 5. Let's see if we can get it here. Second try, and a Dwimmer Claymore. Now we're talking. All right. What do we leave behind? Because uh, we are overweight. I can leave the scrap metal, I guess. We can take all the coins. And then I think I should actually use the Claymore. Because I am Longblade. It's not very scholarly. It is a better weapon, though. Alright, gents. I have come to rescue you. Since you're the newest member, you can lead the rest of the way and will follow you. <laughs> Love how that works. Okay, sounds good. What does it want? Nothing. Let's keep moving. All right, all the way to the bottom. Are we supposed to go through that door, or...? Um, let me uh, just unhinge that door. I would assume we're supposed to go this way. Grab a quick save here. Oh, I accidentally summoned the summon the ghost. Okay, yeah, they're following me. I'm assuming this is the way we go. Any trader that isn't specialized, great. Even better. The good thing I always remember is like, okay, worst comes to worst, there's always pawnbrokers and generic trade houses. There we go. Still enemies nearby. I gotta do a little healing again. Where is our... Someone's attacking us. I don't know who though. Oh, he's behind us. Oh, we got a Dwimmer Spirit. There we go. Lance him in. Come on, y'all are just using your fists against the ghost? Y'all are bold. Oh, 
There we go. Just, just, uh, just call me Dan Aykroyd. Out of your busting ghosts. <laughs> that was, that was lame as hell. <laughs> uh, armorer's hammer. That's fine. Dwemer right bracer. Take that. What can I drop off? I can drop off some of these silver daggers. They're not really worth that much. We'll find better loot down here than that. All right, continuing deeper to Arkan Gathan. Oh, there, there you go. Now they got mining picks. I wonder why they weren't using that first. Oh, I wonder if the mining pick doesn't have an effect on it. So they, they unequip it, I guess. Kill. Okay, alright, alright, I see you, I see you. Got me heal. <laughs> Dormer's, Dormer's putting down some uh, some heavy artillery right there. I don't want to attack the other guys on accident. You know what, while they're having fun with him, I may just take a little peek ahead. Oh, looks like it just kind of keeps going. Here. Oh, let me check my local. Oh, deep ore passage. Okay, we that's what we needed. Yes, hotkeys are... I'm just lazy. <laughs> oh no, one of the miners died. I, I I'll I'll sign him I'll sign him soon. Kill. Okay, can I please uh kill the guy over there? I need I need some I need some some support, Mr. Ghost. This guy's like way stronger than the other one. What what is going on? This guy's gonna wipe out the party. <laughs> T TPK on the Dw the Dwimmer uh, spirit here. Yeah, he two shots the ghost. God, this is. Oh, this is. That was bad. That was that was pretty bad. <laughs> Holy crap! Why does that guy have so much damage? We ran through the first ghost and then got like absolutely clobbered by that one. Okay, but we did find our way that we need to go. I think it's actually over here. So we don't actually need to fight that guy. I believe. Okay, yeah, let's keep moving. We are still level one. We must keep that in mind. Okay, yeah, that looks suspicious. I would say that's the correct path. <laughs> All right, here we go. Into the deep or passage deep beneath Akengathon. That looks like there's loot up there. I'm gonna go check that in one second. There we go. Enemies nearby. Let me use this levitate spell. I have an okay chance. I have an okay chance. Is there any loot up here? Is it just a spider? I think it may just be a spider, sadly. Well, that's kind of a letdown. What a what a raw deal! <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Let's not move too quick. Two dwarven clay mirrors. Ooh, do I need do I need more? I think it's I think it's worth it to drop these. 
like all this random little junk and then grab two more claymores. They sell for 1,200, so as long as I'm making more than 1,200, I'll just drop all those ornate uh, random stuff. Okay, getting some getting some decent loot. Whenever I see something like this in a dungeon, I'm like immediately like, there's loot up there. <laughs> immediately. They always hide it above you. Oh, excuse me. Hey, hey, whoa. Ah, gee. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, remember our distancing, my friend. <laughs> let's uh, get, get a little close, uh, close for comfort. Oh, God, okay, we got another Dwemer Spirit. Hold on, let me, let me fall back. Get our ghost out. We got, we got both the boys now. Cast the soothing so that I don't die. There we go. If we can knock him down. Okay, that one, see, that one went down pretty easy. The other guy, the other guy upstairs, man, he was just made, he was built different, let me tell you that. <laughs> you, you're, you're a, a, a hundred percent clearer. There you go. Uh, it depends, it depends on, um, it depends on what I'm doing. My play, my play style will change. Like, when I'm streaming, I like to, I like to keep things moving forward. Uh, so I, usually when I'm playing, you know, just offline or whatever, um, or like not filming for a video or something, I'll all all hundred percent. Like I'm a pr I'm a pretty completionist guy, but when I'm uh, you know when I'm recording for something or, or streaming, I like to keep keep a some sense of forward progress instead of just trying to kill like everything in all the corners. Now when I'm offline though, I'm 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 the same way. I'm a hundred percent like. Everything dies. Everything gets looted. Every piece of the map must be cleared. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Here we go. Look at this. Y'all didn't tell me this was down here. What is this? All right. Let's keep moving. Dun, dun, dun. Look at that. Come on. Come on. Come, come. Is there anything up here? Nope. Okay. Journal has Wealth been updated. Oh. Uh, hello? Friend. Lots of rocks. We will work together and find us new tunnels. Alright. This looks like the spot. I was informed which area here we should start taking out. Are you ready? Let's do it. The sooner we start, the quicker it'll finish. And onward. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The grand bridge from the bottom of Arkham Gathond. Let's see what we got down here. What do you ask? I'm assuming new guy go first. Let's hit it. Yes, this is this is the mods ad, I would assume. <laughs> yeah, I've I've been here before, you know, I like, like play it up a little bit. Just having some friendly banter with the people who don't exist. You know how it is. <laughs> um, okay. The Grand Bridge. Onward. This looks right. I can tell that this is a new texture. So, And there's a door. So let's try this door. Allow me. Oh. Oh, hello. Nova? May I help you? There's voice acting. Yes, thank you. The door should be unlocked. We have to be careful for traps. I'm sure an adventurer such as yourself would have no problem down here. 
but I'd like to come along and see what there is to discover. All right. I would be happy to have you along. Hey, if you can, if you handle all the doors, then we're good to go. Oh, great. Start through the door. This is exciting. All right. So we are, we were at the Grand Bridge. We are now moving into the Roads of Reflection. Uh, one second. I do have something I need to respond to right quick. All right, let's keep moving. Uh, Nova, Nova, please. <laughs> All right, you you open the door, and then you block me. <laughs> All right, okay, maybe you're not as helpful as I thought. Let me just. All right, there we go. <laughs> well, I thought she was gonna be helpful. I don't know, Bingley. I'm not sold yet. Uh, that that was a. Uh, that was a bad, bad first day at the office right there. She kind of, she kind of fumbled the meeting on that one. I don't know, man. You locked the keys in the cash register or, uh, well, 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 we'll still give her a chance though. You can still come with us, Nova. Here's this, uh, Zero stamina gameplay again. There is. Oh, okay, Bingley. That is big. That is big. I will turn that on as soon as I am done. Like at least in you know other ES games, you could just um, you could just run into them and push them out of your way. But uh, Marwin does not appreciate that. <laughs> Here we go, another Glimmer Spirit. Ooh, come on, come on. Oh, okay, it's going poorly. Let's... Alright, there we go done any damage to him? A little bit. Okay. He could kill me here. Ooh, I don't think I have anything to stop him. Okay, no. Whew, I was if, if he got another attack off while I was staggered. Okay, he was dead. Perfect. That worked out nicely. Okay, Nova, you have once again proven yourself to me. Thank you for staggering him. All right, onward. Onward, onward. Another specter. All these Dwimmers in their own ruins. Horrifying. It is, I, I often forget how hard it is to see the specter. Like he really does just blend in completely with this, with his uh, surroundings. I will, I will definitely take another look at the advanced settings. I, I use Open Marwind all the time now, but I only got it for my most recent like two playthroughs. Like where I've actually spent a bunch of time, um, like modding it and stuff, because I got it and then I just used it base forever. I just like within the, you know past six months or so started doing modding or any um, any additions to open more ones. So I have to take a look more into the advanced settings. Run 
run, 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 run. Oh, that's a bad sign. It's a very bad sign. I need you to die so that I can get my magic back. Alright, let's grab... Let's just burn a potion. Alright, ghost. We gotta get him. There we go. Whew. Man, having a low agility to start is brutal. I'm so used to playing red guards and or just pure mages that don't use any any weapons. Forgot how good I had it. Tourmaline. That's a interesting name for Jim. Some Peridot or Perido. Yeah, I'll have to look into the settings. I was the same way as the first time that I used Open Morrowind. Just the speed and the snappiness of all the menus and the UI and how clean everything was. That that sold it for me. I was like, oh my god, like this just and it, and it doesn't crash all the time. My my Morrowind for some reason on my setup, I don't know why, is just super unstable. Aqua Deep Pass. That sounds cool. So I just would, I'd be streaming Morrowind. If you, it, I mean, I have like old Let's Plays on my, um, on my YouTube channel. And it was like, I'd crash like every hour at least. Uh, playing bass, play, bass Morrowind. Oh, I thought he was alive. No, he's not. That is, that is an empty shell of a Dwemer. All right, Nova, Nova, you blocked me in again. All right, okay. You're out of my good graces again. I'm kind of, like, interested in what's behind this. We only have one. I'm going to hold on to our one lock spell, though, because if there's something that is quest dependent, I don't want to burn my one unhinging scroll that I have left. Oh my god. Rolled max damage on me, I guess. Jeez. He took me from 100 to 0. There we go. Um, hmm. Around here. What is around here? We have a beautiful statue. And we have another specter. Just chameleoning. I think I meant to grab Sanctuary, but that'll do. Come on now. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. One more. One more. Somebody's got to land the hit. We're all rolling minimum damage. So we've hit him like seven more times when he's had a quarter of an inch of health. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Mr. Ghost. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Does it do it like a, like an MMO where you kind of see it like pop up on the screen? Okay. That guy's out of the way. Where to now? Aqua Deep Passage. The bridge doesn't go anywhere. We could levitate up to the top and search up there. And then the textures continue forward. Let me let me 
We still can't rest. But our levitation... Let me see. Can I rest in the other room? If I can rest in the other room, I'll go explore that top section and see if there's any any insane loot or something. Okay, we can. I wanted to make sure because our levitation spell uses a good bit of our magicka. Alright, there we go. Let's head up here. Dwimmer Spectre, Spider. Oh, we do have a chest. It is trapped in level 35, though. May need to make a note to come back. Oh, another one. Is it also locked? Oh, no, it's not. But just Dwimmer Gyros and Scrap Metal. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. All right. We're alive, though. We're alive. We're good. I guess I should probably hop back down. Oh, Nova. She followed us. She can levitate, too. Nice. Okay. Um. Trying to decide what to do. Can't just levitate across again. Yeah, let's keep exploring up here, I guess. And then we can head down, because I'm pretty sure the way we got to go is straight forward down below. What do we, oh, what is this? A Dwimmer Power Core. Weight 15, a value 1,000, though. That sounds pretty cool. And then an 85 chest. We don't have a lock spell that can deal with that yet. So I will need to remember to get... A lock, a 100 lock spell, and we're dead. <laughs> of course, my levitation wore off as soon as I, as soon as I fell off the bridge. Oh, levitation, you bastard! I do want that power core, so I am gonna do it again. Though. F a thousand gold. Can't say no to a thousand gold. Levitation, you. She's a fickle mistress, she is. Alright. Let's grab another save. And then let's continue on with our quest. Because, I mean, I gotta say, that looks pretty promising. I think. I think that's where we're headed. The Shard of Power. Okay, it's got a good name. Are you ready, Nova? She looks like it. She looks kind of like a Final Fantasy character or something. Like, this is like a blue... Not the blue wizard. Those are the ones without faces. But I'm getting big Final Fantasy vibes from, from old Nova right now. Let me get our ghost. All right, friend. Come on now. I'm, I am so surprised that Nova having the unlock spells and being able to levitate around with us doesn't have a... Uh, she doesn't have any destruction spells or anything. Sweet. I can heal, get my magicka. She's just punching everything. Much like power to you, but... You gotta be, re you gotta be ready for adventure, Nova. Like, what? come on, lady. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's all just ash salts and little stuff. Got some good frost salts and, oh, there's a shard of glass. Very nice. It does over-encumber us, but I think I can drop something. I will drop the Mazdi. All right, let me grab another save, and then let's head up here to the Shard of Power. The keep. Look here. Oh. What could this be? I, you tell me. I don't know. What is what is this? The Arkengathond Dwimmer Shard. Ah. Okay, let's grab it. That shard, it could possibly generate power for certain Dwimmer devices. It's something Nelengoth would certainly be interested in. Would you mind handing it over? I can get it to him fairly quickly. Don't worry. I promise we'll hear of your deeds. 
Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, I trust you. I trust her. She was right behind Nell and Goth, so I have no reason to think that she would swindle us out of our power shard credit. All right, thank you, Mike. You've been a lot of help. Would you like me to teleport us back to the guild hall? Okay, e even better. Um, sure, yeah, let's do it. Arkangathon shard has been removed. Your journal has been updated. May I help you? All right, then. May I I'm listening. Oh, hello. All right, that was quick. Very nice. That's unusual. All right, Nellengoth. Nova claimed you found a strange Dwimmer shard. You've done a grand service for the guild. I've, uh, I bet you'd be ready for advancement. Someone such as yourself should be doing much more than mining. I agree. <laughs> so let's advance. And I am officially a watcher of the Astrologians Guild. Your work and dedication brings us another step closer to grand discoveries. I like the sound of that, you know. All in a day's work for uh, an adventurer such as myself. So let's go to duties and see what is up next. We can at least queue up the next quest. Um, I'll probably hop off here in a little bit. But let's see what let's see what's uh, in store for us on the next go-round. So I need someone to travel to Gloam Deus and speak with the Grand Astromancer there, Marcolius de Paladine. He's within a small nearby cave we've uncovered close to the observatory. You're to perform any duties he has and report back. The dwelling is west and a bit south of Herberit's grave, far north and east of Surin. Okay, it's going to be dangerous, so prepare. Ooh. Okay. Intriguing. Danger, danger shrines, over encumber. Um, what did I grab? I accidentally grabbed something from that chest. I'll drop the chitin dagger. I wonder if I can sell them any of the, like, Dwimmer things that I found. Let me try. Let me see if anyone in here before we hop off. Let me see if anyone in here will buy any. How of may our I help? Daedric stuff, or Dwimmer stuff. Excuse me. How can I help? Uh, does not seem there is a merchant in here, actually, so. Okay, I guess we can head back to Balmora and uh, do a little bit of little bit of bartering with uh, the Dwimmer artifacts that we've managed to scavenge. Let's do an Alm CV here. I'm going to hit the pawn broker up. Actually, I think I can sell... I should probably sell my claymores uh, here. Speak Since I'm right that. next to it. Uh, come on, then. I like this guy. I like this very minimalist shop. He has one... He has, he has one display, no desk, no nothing, but he does have the guard. <laughs> like, this guy's doing... He's, he's doing blacksmithing out of his pantry or something. I respect the grind, man. I respect the grind. Good for you. All right. Let's uh, double Dwimmer Claymores for 990. I'll take that. I think that's the only weapon we really had. We had the miner's pick and our sword, but we don't want to sell those. Yeah, okay. Let's move on right. to the, um, the pawnbroker over here. And see what glorious things he has to say. We have a bunch of like random gems and such to uh, pass over, so. Let's get rid of these coins first. That's 620, so that's pretty much the full Monty for her. Give me the ash salts. I'll offer that. I'm waiting. <laughs> You're right. You're right, Bingley. He knows he's too smart. He, he knows. That bucket has been placed over his head before. You're right. I, I You're right. We got we to gotta give him some credit. All right. Get rid of our ectoplasm, all of our diamonds and frost salts and fun stuff because we don't need to worry about alchemy just yet. We need to worry about our spells before we start worrying about 
uh, buying or finding mortal and pestles and such. That's in a thousand. That's in a thousand value Dwemer power core, and you're only gonna give me 391. Come on, you're driving a tough bargain, lady. She's dealt with adventurers before too. She knows how bad we need the money, so she's like, "Yeah, you'll you'll take the 390. Don't don't act like you won't." <laughs> All right. Okay, fine. We'll take that. Let's go buy a couple more spells, and then uh, I, I'm going to make a combination spell for conjuring. Slowly making our way in the world here. Yes, Outlander. I think we're still level one. Yeah, we're still level one with only four, four level ups towards it. So we do need to start gassing up our long blade use and our magic use and such. I suppose I could spare a Yeah, that is that two. is true. And a mud crab too that buys at cost. But sometimes the extra, you know, the extra footwork is um So it's it's tough tough on the old mind. Let's see here. I do love the creep the creeper is so fantastic and I love that it's Barnabas like that is that's just such good flavor. Okay, here's the open door. This is what we needed. And then we'll go ahead and buy the skeletal minion as well. Fire shield, frost shield, lightning shield, second barrier. We don't really need any of that. Calm, calm, swift swim. That could be nice, I guess. Charming touch. Charm 30 seconds. I'm trying to remember how charm works. Is that like command humanoid? Or does it just calm him down? I think it just calms him down. Looking for something in particular? Here's the long bow and long sword that we need. Flame guard is fine. Poet's whim, reflect. 10 to 20%. That's not a ton. Soul Trap. I should start grabbing Soul Trap, and then we can start selling those. Filled Soul Gems. Um, let me now make Minion. Okay, so, s yeah, summon. Let me just do, like, 40 seconds. I wonder if it's going to be too hard for us right now to do multiple. I don't really want to go a bit below like 60% right now. Forty that's sixty-five. We can get our ancestral and a skeletal minion for a sixty-five spell chance. I'll take that. I'll name it the boys. The guild guild? Which guild? The guild guild guild? The guild of guilds? I know that there's some good there's some good summoning spells in um Sadrith Mora and then in, in Caldera. Can you ask your question quickly? I must be going. I just don't know. I guess we can try and ask. We can we can see if we can cast greater bone walkers and stuff. You want something? We can see. Doesn't have it here. Good day. Let oh, welcome. Welcome. look at this man. My name is Jamor Nerlian. Can I help you? Or are you looking for someone in particular? Okay, well, I guess I guess that guy doesn't have anything. Um, bound gauntlets, we don't have that if we want it. Doe's lock. Summon. There's summon Atronach. Can we cast that, though? That's my only, like, reservation on the, on the better spells right now. Summon Scamp. I may as well just buy him when I have the money. I'm listening. Guild Guide. Go oh, okay. Ahead. Gotcha, gotcha. Let me see. Summon Flame Atronach. It's a 45% chance at full fatigue. Our, our stats sure are a little bit low right now us. for, like, super hardcore stuff like that. 
At least we got we got one combo spell. Let me go back again, actually. Or I guess I can do it here. It doesn't really matter. Which one of you has spell making? I can try and get our 100 unlock spell. Just go ahead and have that in the inventory because that will be necessary. Good day. Let's do. I guess I need to go back. Speak freely, friend. I love how easy it is to get around in Morrowind once you know how everything connects. You can just kind of like zip all the way, <laughs> zip between places on the map. I will name this Open uh, Sesame. Is it like sesame, like sesame seed, or says a me? I actually don't know. <laughs> Ooh, is that on Tart? I think it's on Touch. Open on Touch, 100. 36% chance. Cost 60. 36 isn't bad for 100. Like, if you can just sit there and just keep restoring your health, like, I can deal with that. I can deal with 36. You have my attention. All right, I think this puts us in a great position to take uh, the the dangerous undertaking that we have coming up. Um, let me steal the rest of these restore magic potions. Fortify willpower actually is nice too, um, but I think we're set up well uh, for our next session of Astrologians Guild. Um, also the. Uh, this will be up on my second YouTube channel, so look for VODs there. And the only thing that gets you is you can use a boat to get to Satanine, even though it's a port. That is that is true. Yeah, you can only get there when you arrive, and you can never go back. Um, cool. But that's going to do it for me today. Thanks for hanging out, Bingley, and uh, any others who stopped by. I will catch you all later with, of course, some more Marwin And... Have a fantastic time. Adios, everybody. <laughs>